Hello everyone. My name is David. I am a LAN engineer. I design the local area network for my organization. Hi there. My name is Martin. I am a WAN engineer. I design and set up the wide area network for my organization. Hey, wait a minute. Can you guys please tell me what is the difference between LAN and WAN? Local area and wide area network connections. Welcome to CCNA 200-301, Implementing and Administering Cisco Solutions, Chapter Number 28, Local Area and Wide Area Networks. Learn CCNA with iRush Academy. I have placed the complete CCNA playlist at the top right corner of the video information bar. In this chapter, we will discuss about the local area network. We will discuss about the wide area networks. We will understand that how business design their wide area network connections. And finally, we will discuss about the difference between LAN and WAN. What is local area network or LAN? A local area connection or LAN refer to a network that connects computer and other device within a limited geographical area, such as a home, office, or a group of building. It is typically used for sharing resources like files, printers, and internet connections among the connected devices. So basically the local area network means the network that is localized in your home or office or in between the building that is considered as a local area network. It is called local area network because it exists in a limited geographical area. As we said, it may be your home or office. So what is the purpose of a local area network? What is the benefit of a local area network? By using the local area network, you can share the file in between the computer. You can share the printer in between the computer or even the internet connection between the computer. So here you can see this is a local area network. So here if we have a network printer, then this printer can be shared in between all this computer. In the same way, if this computer contains some specific files and that file can be shared in between all the computer and if we have a common internet connection here then that internet connection can be shared in between all the computer so the basic purpose of a local area network is to share the network resources in between the devices so what is the wide area network or one a wide area network or WAN is a telecommunication network that extends over a large geographical area, often encompassing multiple cities, states or even countries. WAN are used to connect smaller networks such as local area networks or metropolitan area networks, allowing them to communicate with each other. We already talked about the local area network that is limited in a geographical area. But a wide area network is a network that extends over large geographical area, maybe in between cities or countries. For example, in the picture you can see there are multiple local area networks spread all over the different cities or countries. For example, this local area network is in US and this local area network in London and this may be in Poland and this may be in China and this LAN may be in India. So what if we want to connect all this local area network together? That is the concept of a WAN connection. WAN connection means the wide area network that is connecting multiple LAN together so that they can communicate together. Let's go back to our ice cream company owner James. James set up his own ice cream company and he set up his own local area network which contain the core switches, distribution switches and access switches. And he connected this local area network into an internet connection for the outside the traffic. So this is the basic example of a local area network. Here James has only a single internet connection and this internet connection can be shared between all the PCs and other network devices in the 
network. All of them can access the internet using the local area network. And here we can see the printer, which is a share printer. All this PC can use that share printer and take the printout. Then we have here the file server where James used to save all of his files and these files can be shared between all the PC. So all the user are able to access the file using the local area network. So this is the beauty of a local area network. Local area network is mainly using to share the network resources in between. This scenario is applicable when James has only one company at a single location. What if James want to expand his business into other cities and other countries? For that he set a multiple office at multiple location. And he want to connect all the offices into head office so that they can communicate together. In this situation the concept of LAN will not work here. Because this head office has its own LAN connection. And this branch office has its own LAN connection. And uh, this LAN is different. This branch office LAN is different. This branch office LAN is also different. This branch of his line is also different because they reside in another cities or countries. What if James want to connect all the land together? That's where the concept of wide area network come up. When James connect all the branch office together into the head office, then it is called a wide area network. It is not a local area network anymore because all of this land are residing at multiple cities or countries. So here, how James can connect this multiple LAN or offices together. There are different options available for creating a WAN connection. Let's discuss about that. The first one is circuit switch network connections. In circuit switch network connection, we are using a dial-up modem. This is working based on the switching circuit method. This type of connection is not active all the time. Whenever there is a requirement of connectivity, the user can connect to the dial-up modem and dial into the network of the head office. This is an on-demand connection facility. That means whenever there is a connection requirement, the user who is sitting here can connect to this dial-up modem and it can dial into the head office network by using the internet connectivity. Mainly this kind of connection are used as a backup connection. When the main link is down, people still can access the network using the dial-up modem. And this type of connectivity is mainly used by the IT administrator to access the network for troubleshooting purpose when the primary link is down. The one of the disadvantage of circuit switch network connections are they are very slow and there is no dedicated bandwidth available. Another point is they are not active all the time. It is an on-demand connection network. Another one connection types are lease lane connections. What is this lease lane connection means? Lease line connection means you are going to lease a dedicated link from the service provider in between your headquarters and your branch office. So this is the head office of the ice cream company and this is the branch office. And here you have taken a lease line or a dedicated point to point network connection. That means you are asking your service provider to provide you a network connection from this point into this point. This network connection will be there all the time active with a dedicated bandwidth. Once if you set up a lease line from the service provider, you can use it only for the connectivity in between the point A and point B. It cannot be used for any other purpose. This lease line is also called T1 and E1 line. The benefit of lease line is you have a dedicated link in between your business and you will get a dedicated bandwidth also. But there are disadvantages available with the lease line. One is they are so expensive because you are going to lease a dedicated link between your business. And the second disadvantage is you cannot use this line for any other purpose. It is fixed between your point A, the headquarters and the point B, the branch office. One of the another disadvantage of lease lanes are once it is connected between two locations, then they are fixed. We cannot change that thing or we cannot divert into the another location. For example, if this headquarters want to connect branch office 1, it can use this lease line. In the same way, if the headquarters want to connect to the branch office 2, then it needs to set up another lease line between the headquarters and branch office 2. It cannot use the same lease line of the branch office 1. What if the branch office 2 want to connect to branch office 1? 
if the branch office 2 want to connect the branch office 1 it can use this HQ as a hub and send the traffic in this way and connect in this way or it can take another dedicated link or another lease lane between the branch office 1 and branch office 2 so that it can directly communicate with the branch office 1 without the help of the HQ. So when we consider in this way this is highly expensive because for each connection you need to lease one dedicated link from the service provider. That's why we are saying the lease line connections are very expensive but it has a benefit of a dedicated link and dedicated bandwidth. Another type of WAN connections are packet switch network connections. This type of connections are very popular in the WAN industry. In this type of connectivity you are going to take a MPLS line or Metro E connection from the service provider. MPLS stands for multi protocol label switching. You can connect multiple branch office into this MPLS link and the traffic in between them are controlled by the virtual circuit. For example the headquarters have one virtual circuit V1 and this branch office will have V2 and this branch office will have V3 and the packet can be switched from one virtual circuit to another circuit and vice versa. For example if the HQ want to communicate with the BO1 branch office 1 it can use the same MPLS connection. At the same time it can communicate with the branch office 2 by using the same MPLS connection. At the same time what if the branch office 2 want to communicate with branch office 1. It can use the same MPLS connection and can communicate in this way. So once if you connect multiple branches into one MPLS link all of them can communicate together using the virtual circuits. This type of packet switch network connections are very popular in the van industry because they are very economical when compared to lease lines. Lease lane is connecting one location into another location with a dedicated link. Only these two locations can be used that link. But in MPLS we can connect multiple sites into that MPLS link and all of them can communicate with the help of virtual circuit. Another type of WAN connections are VPN based connection. In VPN based connection we are going to create a virtual private network in between the offices. So let me explain that well. Here we have the headquarters and here we have branch office 1 and here we have branch office 2 and all the office has its own internet connection. So in the concept of VPN here we are going to set up a VPN tunnel in between the headquarters and branch office 1. So by using this tunnel the data can transfer from one location to another location in the form of encrypted format. So when we set up a VPN tunnel or the IPsec tunnel in between the headquarters and branch office 1 they can communicate together by using this VPN tunnel. And this data is encrypted so no one can read it from the outside the internet. So if we want to make another communication between headquarters and branch office 2 then we need to set up another VPN tunnel in between headquarters and branch office 2 so they can communicate together. And if we want to make another connection between branch office 2 and branch office 1 then again we need to set up another VPN tunnel in between branch office 1 and branch office 2. So the branch office 1 and branch office 2 can communicate together. So even the link between headquarters and branch office 1 is down due to any reason maybe the problem with the service provider but still the headquarters can communicate with branch office 1 using this VPN link. The traffic can go to the branch office 2 by using this tunnel and from branch office 2 it can reach to the branch office 1 by using this tunnel. So this is the concept of VPN based WAN connections. So let's take everything in one page. To create a WAN connection between multiple location we have different option. One is the circuit switch network connection which can be used a dial up modem and dial into the destination. And second one is a lease line which is also called T1 or E1 line. These are the dedicated link between two location that is provided by the service provider. And third one is packet switch network connection which is also called an MPLS line or Metro E link which is working based on the packet switching between multiple virtual circuit. And the fourth one we can consider IPsec tunnel or simply the VPN. So these are the most common types of WAN connection that we use in industry. Now let's talk about what are the difference between the local area network and wide area network. So the point one LAN means local area network and WAN means wide area network. Point number two LAN connect user and application in close geographical proximity mostly in the same building. 
but on the other hand wans means users and application in geographically dispersed location across the globe it may be between multiple cities multiple countries point number 3 LANs use OSA layer 1 and layer 2 data connection equipment for transmission. On the other hand, WANs are using layer 1, layer 2 and layer 3 network devices for data transmission. Point number 4. LANs use local connection like Ethernet cable and wireless access points. But WAN use wide area connections like MPLS, VPNs, lease line and the cloud. Point number 5. LANs are faster because they span less distance have less congestion. But the WANs are slightly slower but that may not be perceived by your users. Point number 6. LANs are good for private networks and small business network. But WANs are good for disaster recovery and large corporate network. So in this chapter, we have discussed about the local area network. We have discussed about the wide area network. We understood that how business design their wide area network connections. And finally, we have discussed about the differences between the LAN and WAN. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Enhance your skills using the Irish Academy. <music>